Hey y'all, today I'm sharing with you my recipe for gluten-free hamburger and hot dog buns just in time for Memorial Day weekend. So let's get started. In my mixing bowl, I have gluten-free bread flour blend, my blend, along with some yeast, baking powder, salt, um, and a new ingredient, which is psyllium husk powder. It makes all the difference in the world. And I'm adding to that my wet ingredients, which is two eggs mixed with a little bit of milk. And we're just gonna pour that in until it's all combined. And then we add butter. You can do melted butter. Um, I just was lazy here and just had room temperature butter. So um, mix this for five minutes on high. And then scrape down the bowl scrape the beater and everything, and you can leave it right in the bowl to rise. You don't have to transfer it to a different bowl. I use the bowl scrapers. I love those things. They're the best. Just cover it with plastic wrap, and actually you can put it in the fr uh, fridge to rise overnight, like a cold rise. You don't even have to do the two hour rise. So the next day, get it out of the bowl and um, go ahead and knead it. It's a lot of dough. <laughs> Sprinkle it with the extra flour and start kneading it. We don't need this bread to develop gluten because obviously there is no gluten. We're doing it just to get it nice and smooth and get all those air pockets released. It's kind of the same as if you were to um, punch down regular dough. Now I'm going to separate out three ounce pieces. I have my scale over in the corner, you can't see it, but, and this is for the um, hamburger buns. So start um, shaping them into the form of a bun or a roll, rolling them on the counter. Um, I have another video for Hawaiian rolls that shows a little more detail of how to roll them. If you want to look at that, I'll have the link for that down below and just keep going. I've, I've separated out half the dough for hot dog buns. So space these about two inches apart onto half of a baking sheet lined with parchment. And then go around and press down on each of those. And what that does is it just ensures that the rolls rise up and not out as much. And then cover this part with plastic wrap while you make the hot dog buns. Now there's two ways to make hot dog buns. You can measure them out and individually and then roll each one into a rope. But I found this way a little bit easier and I really wanted a split top bun. I just find they're, they hold together a little better. Um, it's easier to just plop your hot dog right into the top and then add your toppings so much easier than a side split bun, in my opinion, anyway. But do what you like. So this method that I'm doing is rolling it out into a rectangle and then cutting it into strips for the hot dog buns. Now I probably made these a little too long for a normal size hot dog, but you get the gist anyway. And then what you do is take it and place it on its side and kind of press down. And what that does is the cut side is on top and it almost creates like a, a natural divot where your split would go. You could also take a sharp knife or a razor blade and cut down the middle slightly before you bake them so it, it would have that split already, but that's up to you, whatever you wanna do. Whatever's the easiest, I just do it like this. I find it's just 
as easy. It's so much easier than individually rolling each. So now cover the, the entire tray with plastic wrap and notice how I am not pulling it taut because if you pull it taut, it won't have enough, ta enough room to rise. So see how these are nicely risen now? This is about mm, 30 minutes to an hour later. It just depends on the temperature of the area where you're proofing. And now I'm going to um, brush them with an egg wash, which is just one egg mixed with a splash or two of water and a tiny pinch of salt. The salt kind of denatures the egg white so you don't get that gloppy egg white. So brush all of them with the egg wash. And then you're going to bake these for at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. And look at that. Look at how glorious those rolls look. And I'm picking this up. You can't see it, but I always pick up my rolls after I bake them to make sure they're very light in relation to how big they are. They're light in, in weight. So now I'm brushing them with melted butter and I do this generously. It kind of seeps in, it makes for the perfect buns. You don't have to do it, but it's it's just a, anything with butter is better, right? And that's it, you're done. So look at that burger. Oh my goodness, it's so good. That would be my dog <laughs> barking in the background. Can never keep him quiet. <laughs> I am giving the hot dog to my son. He's going to eat that. And I am eating this burger, or I should say cheeseburger. It is so good, y'all. It's squishy, just like a real gluten-filled bun would be. You won't be able to tell they're gluten-free. So enjoy your hamburgers and hot dogs this weekend. <laughs>